spill my drink. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Last time we found out that Maggie Chow in Hong Kong was a real bitch. And she has stolen the Dragon Tooth Sword and blamed it on the Luminous Path Triad. So we're going to pick it up and then we're going to go take it to Max Chen of the uh, Red Arrow. And we're going to try and make peace with the Triads. So this is the Dragon Tooth Sword. It is obviously a nanotech uh, melee weapon. The true weapon of a modern warrior, the Dragon's Tooth, is not a sword in the traditional sense, but a nanotechnologically, nanotechnologically constructed blade that is dynamically forged on command into a non-eutatic solid. Eutactic. Nanoscale wedding devices ensure that the blade is both unbreakable and lethally sharp. Yep, yeah, so basically it's a lightsaber. And it fucking... it hurts when you hit things with it. So, uh, you can see all these dead MJ-12 soldiers and, uh, even the maid. Um, so we better make sure that no one, uh, finds any evidence of anything in here, right? So we'll just reduce the, uh, maid to meat chunks and then we'll go. And running around with this sword probably isn't the best thing to do, considering there's uh, people out looking for it, so... We better make sure that we keep it hidden at all times, like... Uh, well, like a uh, like you should do with a important piece of evidence that you've just stolen from someone's house. So we're going to head over to the Lucky Money Club now. We haven't actually been there yet, but, oh, we're going there now. And hopefully, we can do it without any trouble at all. And that includes falling down that hole. It's not really a hole, but you know what I mean. Lucky money. Alright, cool. Sounds good to me. Let's go. There's entrance to Versa Life here. Don't know why it's there. But maybe we'll be going there soon enough. We've been hearing all about uh, Versa Life, haven't we? Though, to be honest, we were just there, weren't we, really? We were on the roof. That's where the uh, MJ 12 uh, helicopter base was, so. Versa Life looks like the place to be. The mall area is perfectly safe. Really? Because. It looks like you've got a bunch of uh, armed soldiers in here. If you want a good time, I recommend the Rocky Money. That's uh, where I'm going. We patrol this area 24 hours. If you want a good time, I recommend the Rocky Money. Man, you two sound exactly the same. Eddie Way and Eddie Way, and you're called Eddie Way as well. Shit. Well, this takes uh, this takes racism to a whole new level. But uh, maybe you're just clones, yeah? We patrol this area 24 hours. Yeah, I don't know which is creepier. Alright, let's go. Uh, there seems to be some sort of supermarket in here with a camera and some kind of alarm system. Probably no need to go in there right now. We are law-abiding citizens after all. Well, we're not even citizens of Hong Kong, so... It wouldn't be very fair of us to uh, come into the country illegally, uh, because we didn't arrive by uh, airport, did we? So we didn't actually show anyone our passports. Hmm, leather boots. For you, 25 credits admission. Here you go. Perfect. I order you to stand in the spotlight and growl at the women like a dog who needs a master. Well, she's obviously a, uh, a very uh, sexually charged uh, character, but let's have a look at these two. Hey man, where are you from? The States. We're from Australia. Hmm. On vacation? Let's just wait for Russ. He's kinda cute. What's your name? JC. Is this a good club? Oh, totally. And it's a red arrow place? They get everything real cheap. Look, can we ask a big, big favor? Sure. My friend and I. It's so silly. We left our credit cards at the hotel. Think you could get us in? How much do you need? Only 20 each. We get in for 20. 
Sure. Right. You like to dance then? Let's go. You're so bad. Now I don't I don't know what this country is like in uh, twenty years time, but seriously, our accents really go to hell at some point. Thanks for getting me in. Seriously, we don't sound like that anyway. Good evening. Hello there. Do you know a man named Max Chen? Of course I know Max. A terrific fellow. Do you know where I can find him? In the back room. He runs the whole Red Arrow from here. Hey, you're not with the police, are you? I'll tell you later. Thanks for getting me in. That's okay. It's a terrible accent. Hi. Don't you like to dance? Get in the middle. Come on. Okay. I don't really know any dance moves, though. I'm not big into dance. Yeah, JC doesn't look like he's having much fun here. Alright. I feel silly. You look good. Move your hips a little more. There you go. Like this? That's better. I imagine uh, doing that in a suit would be rather uh, difficult. Thanks for getting me in. Oh, it's great. Hello. Hello. Please, you choose 100 credits. Where can I find Max Chen? Check at the bar, kid. Hello. Thanks for getting me in. Now, if you're stupid enough to actually buy one of these uh, skanky-looking uh, chicks here for a hundred credits. Well, you're going to be very disappointed because they don't put out, so enjoy wasting your money. I've never seen so many troopers. They must be close to a breakthrough. But which division? Maybe all of them. Something fundamental. I saw guards in biotech, too. I think it's just the UC. They've had that for weeks. But word has gotten out. Every engineer on the planet. VersaLife already has the best security in the industry. Even my game programmer friend in Texas offered me a million credits for one hour on the UC. Wanted to make the game of life with buckyballs. Joking, of course. Stay in the dance area. I don't like being in the dark. What do you mean? Everything's so compartmentalized. A pain, I know. But all it takes is one leak to the net and there goes our work into the public domain. It's more like the way you'd organize a prison camp than a laboratory. Let's not get melodramatic. I've spent months making this rotor for sorting calcium ions, and I don't even know what it's for. Kaczynski was right about the division of labor. I'll give him that much. Want another drink? Who puts the pieces together? Someone who makes a lot more money than we do. I think management is involved in something criminal. I don't know if you should be saying that. Really? Why the codes? All the procedures? Why'd the data entry people disappear today? What did the company have them doing? That's outside your department. I want to know. What do they do all day and all night down on level two? I don't think I can take part in this conversation. Mind if I ask what you were talking about? You with the company? It just sounded interesting. Troops. At a corporation? Not your affair. Please do not intrude. We're having a private discussion. Well, it sounds like VersaLife is up to something a bit shady, but we already knew that. Hey, I gotta take a leak, I'll tell you what. Um, well, we're never setting foot in the uh, women's toilets ever again after uh, Shannon gave us a blasting. Uh, well, so to speak. Um, I, I like these, uh, miniature urinals here. Well, not miniature, but it's like uh, a family of urinals. It's pretty good. I'm loving these lag spikes as well. I still haven't figured out why that keeps happening, obviously. Um, oh, for shit's sake. Have another drink? Don't mind if I do. As you were saying? Well, women back home, they aren't like your daughter. I do very much wish to meet her. You are very handsome. 
You must have many girlfriends in your country. Oh, come on. Nah. I think it's a bit mean of the uh, developers there to call him loser. Oh no, he's Lawrence. You see, my class. Well, in the U.S., either you have nothing or you have everything. And the women of my class, well, they're spoiled. Mm. Whereas your daughter, see, she's the perfect example. Born not with a silver spoon in her mouth, but... Wooden chopsticks. Yes, good, that's very good. Exactly. And that's why she understands the important things. Food, shelter, a good life. That's a very nice watch. Thank you. So kind of you. A gift from my mother, actually. Hi ho, sir. My friend and I were about to leave. 14 karat gold, actually. Not my style at all. Fine things suit you. You think so? You have thin aristocratic wrist. Oh, stop it. It will go to my head. Here is 15. One is 120. Wow, his accent's uh, quite a bit worse than the girl's. Can I ask you something? What do you want to know? Despite all I've read about the triads, I wasn't prepared to see them operating in the open, on the streets, and wearing uniforms. Doesn't the Chinese government care? Chinese leave Hong Kong alone. They barricade the roads to control trade from mainland, but they now have businesses then. I would think the secret smuggling operations of the triads would disturb the Chinese government. Maybe the luminous path, but China knows that the red arrow of business owners, entrepreneurs, community leaders, and that they protect the city from outside influences. You said outside influences. What does China fear? China is the last sovereign country in the world. Authoritarian but willing, unlike the UN governed countries, to give its people the freedom to do what they want. As long as they don't break the law. Listen to me. This is real freedom. Freedom to own property, make a profit, make your life. The West, so afraid of strong government, now has no government, only financial power. Our governments have limited power by design. Rhetoric? You believe it? Don't you know where these slogans come from? I give up. Well paid researchers. How do you say it? Think tanks? Founded by big businesses. What is there? A think tank? Hardly as sinister as a dictator like China's premier. Privately funded propaganda, the Trilateral Commission in the United States, for instance. The separation of powers acknowledges the petty ambitions of individuals. That's its strength. A system organized around the weakest qualities of individuals will produce the same qualities in its leaders. Perhaps certain qualities are an inseparable part of human nature. The mark of the educated man is the suppression of these qualities in favor of better ones. The same is true of civilization. I'm looking for Max Chen. Is that so? What is it about? I need to find Tracer Tong. Are you crazy? Don't even say that name in here. I'll get a drink later. Wow, I wasn't quite expecting this uh, badly voice acted man here to uh, give me a uh, political dissertation. Oh, sure. I don't mind needles. Too much shmooma. We do not wish to be disturbed. Oh, that's right, that's you lot. Alright. So, next on the list is uh, going upstairs again, which is this way. Excellent, I was just looking for a pool table. Whoops. Shake it. Move it. I spill my drink. Yes, finally! We find the guy who spills his Out drink. Out of my face. Out of hey, my Yevgeny. face. Yevgeny, where is Yevgeny? That's party! Downstairs. The upstairs is for us. Oh, that, that accent's bad. Tell the mama, sir. Three more dancing girls. We will pay. More. More! I'm loving the uh, limited voice actors uh, trying to put on different accents, it's great. And you can even tell it's the same people because they're so bad at it. But uh, anyway, we're looking for Max Chen. And where else would he be but behind the bar? Oh, 
Well, we don't seem to be able to get in here with a pick. But maybe, well, with a nano... With a fucking... with a nano key. So maybe we'll need to use the picks. And look where we are here, huh? Behind the mirrors. Excuse me, sir. This room is off limits to club patrons. I suggest you leave. It's okay. I'm here to see Max Chen. He'll expect me. An American. I hope he likes what you have to say. Well, I think he'll like what I have to show him. Anybody back here these days. Awaiting authorization. You must be Max Chen. So? I have found something in Miss Chow's apartment that might interest you. Is that so? The sword was never destroyed. It was stolen, and she is the one who stole it. Preposterous! I have it right here. But, Miss Chow? She works for a group called Majestic 12. She's using you and the Red Arrow for her own ends. No, you must be mistaken. Think about it. She murders your predecessor, hides the sword, pushes the Red Arrow into the war with the Luminous Path, and then, what next? The triads are weakened and an outside group seizes power. Sound far-fetched? Oh, there must be an explanation. Perhaps you should meet with the leaders of the Luminous Path. Hmm, perhaps. For now, I'll take them this message. I will stop hostilities until I have completed an investigation. Boss, what is it? Marty at the door so we have trouble. Soldiers coming in. She said I was some kind of max. MJ-12 troops. They must have followed me. He says it so calmly. Okay, so how are we gonna get out of here? Oh. Yeah, so these MJ-12 commandos, they are quite heavily armed. And armored. So as you can see, they have uh, they have wings, what appear to be wings, but they can't fly, thank God. Uh, but they do have rocket launchers on their shoulders. So you don't want to run into MJ-12 commandos too often. Let's go back here for a sec. Hello. Looks like the Eddie Ways are getting involved. I'd really like to use a tool on this uh, this keypad, but I don't know if this guy's going to yell at me. And he obviously means business. He has a get gun, and it looks like all the patrons are going back to normal. Well, kinda. All right, let's let's get out of here. I think we've pretty much done all that we needed to do in here. Thanks for getting me in. That's okay. It's good to see you haven't lost any of your optimistic spirit. There was a shootout. Please clear the mall. I know there was a shootout. I was here. Wonder where that guy went. Oh well. So now that we've spoken to Max Chen about this uh, Dragon Tooth sword, what we can uh, what we can do is go back to Tracer Tong's place, which is just down here, and well, we need to get this infernal kill switch dealt with. I did it! I did it! Did anybody see? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't matter. We got her payment, plus interest. Get back and see if she earns something. Okay. You were right. Maggie Chow is a con artist. Do you have proof? Yes, I found the sword in her apartment. Good. Inform the Red Arrow Dragon Head. Then we will see who is the real traitor. I've already been to the Lucky Money. Max Chen has declared a truce between the Red Arrow and the Luminous Path. 
Etrus? Are you certain? Majestic 12 attacked the club. I think he would consider forming an alliance. Mr. Denton, you are the man I hoped you were. Trisaton is inside, in his laboratory below the compound. The door is in our sparring room. He will know what to do next. To enter our compound, use the code 1997. That is a hell of a receding hairline you've got there, buddy. 1997, a good year. And we are now in Chaser Tong's compound. Well, you are here. Observe the laws of the triad. Okay, Mr. Robot. Hello, doggy. You must have won great favor with the dragon head. I'm glad you go. Tracer Tong admitted another American. Perhaps you know him. Another American? Perhaps we know him. Jeez, well, America's a big country. Uh, what are the odds that we would know him? Not very high, I don't think. Do not interrupt us with questions. decides he'll trust you, you to come and go as you please. Feel free to come and go as you please, he said. I know you didn't quite hear it over the fucking lag, but that's what he said. Alright, so, there is a book here, Journal of Hung Kwan Gordon Quick. Oh, Mr. Hare himself. It is the steel in, our, in her heart, much like that of her father, that leads me to love her. How unfortunate that the old gods should laugh and she should be the child of their dragon head. The man who would lead the Red Arrow against the Luminous Path and destroy all we have sought to create for the Celestial Kingdom. But I know that whatever fate is decreed for us, we will walk that road together. There can be no betrayal in the feelings we have for each other and no teachings that can show me the error in our actions. Today, Master Tong has informed me that we will have visitors. Sounds like Gordon Quick is uh, trying to get it on with uh, Max Chen's daughter. Yama. Doesn't sound like a very beneficial thing for the uh, triads to uh, be doing whatever that means. We will check with the dragon head about whether you can come in here. Well, I am here to see the dragon head, so yes, I am cleared to come in here. Some prod charger ammo, which is very helpful. Uh, we don't need any of that. 1997 is the code to this door as well, and we are on our way to get this goddamn kill switch out of our heads. Must be JC. Tom will see you now. Okie dokie. Mr. Tom, you know my brother Paul Denton. Yes, a reliable man. So your kill switch has been activated. I feel fine, but it's been over 16 hours. See how easily our technologies turn on us? The more power you think you have, the more quickly it slips from your hands. Can you do something about it? That will depend. You, like your brother, are an extraordinary piece of technology. I never pass up the chance to try a new blade, but I fear at the crucial moment, I may lift up my arm to strike and you will twist free of my grasp. In other words, I'll owe you a favor. Indeed, as will your friend, Mr. Jacobson, a man of much useful knowledge. He arrived in Hong Kong shortly after you did. I was forced to keep him in custody until I could verify his identity and his loyalties. I assume he checked out. I believe he is sincere. Now, go down the stairs to the operating platform, and I will examine your systems. Uh, that sounds rather expository, but, uh, okay. Having a look at my systems. Cool, let's do it. Jock's apartment is added to the nano key ring. Well, maybe we'll have to check that out at some point. MJ-12 Nano Augmentation Experiment Series 3C for internal use only. Okay, so this is a list of all the 
uh, augmentations that can be applied and to which slots they can be applied to. Thoughts and Meditations As the most dignified of the Celestial Kingdom had expected inquiries into the nature of MJ-12 and the so-called Project Dibbit were quickly declined in an extremely abrupt manner and resulted in the unfortunate but necessary loss of one humble servant who will be forever exalted in the annals of our organisation. However, further perseverance has suggested that the aforementioned project involved the quiet acquisition of Chinese technology that was later applied to the invention of an improved stealth helicopter for use in the covert MJ-12 operations. A careful examination of electronic traces would lead an astute observer to Cohen's conclude that this information was liberated during a number of skilled intrusions into Chinese corporate data wells originating from UNATCO headquarters in New York, which in turn leads to certain questions about links between UNATCO and MJ-12, which we already know quite a bit about considering we just broke out of the uh, detention center there. So let's just explore uh, Tong's place. Got a nice little shooting gallery here. We have no room for a clip modification, that is quite distressing, honestly. How about we drop this here, and we'll pick it up again on our way out. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. It's rather economical with our uh, inventory. Flares, fucking useless. A rebreather, fucking useless. Multi-tool, we already have. Full multi-tools. This repair bot's fairly useful though. No need to dive down there. What are you doing with this? So as you can see, the Dragon Tooth Sword is quite uh, excellent. It can destroy quite a lot of things in very few hits. Uh, clip modification we would like to put on the uh, Assault Shotgun. Please, complete your business and then go. This guy obviously doesn't want JC hanging around. And I don't really blame him. something you've just got to do it how do you find Tom so quickly turns out I knew him all along tt under net dot oh nine two four dot two four three dot eight eight six I posted a message to the board and he contacted me himself any news from Jaime no sign of him yet I hope he made it yeah me too did you ever dig up anything about this Daedalus character I'm still hearing from him actually I did sort of Crypto says Daedalus was supposedly a government AI project, also known as Echelon 4. Supposedly? I'm getting this from anonymous crypto boards. Daedalus was supposed to be the old content recognition problem in surveillance. It was a program that could search all the terabytes of intercepted messages for subversive content. So, what happened? Never panned out as far as I know. The problem was just too hard. They blew through a lot of taxpayer money, but finally had to scrap the whole project. So the thing that's talking in my head is... What? Uh, resurrected AI? I wish I knew. Interesting. So Daedalus may not actually be of the uh, human world. It may actually be just a uh, glorified uh, computer program. Uh, that is quite a twist. That is a Shyamalan kind of twist. Alright. This is some Half-Life stuff right here. You just need to go into my head. You don't really need to zap me with lasers. Success. Come back to the control room. 
Okie dokie, it looks like our kill switch has been removed, which is only a good thing. That's it. A simple switch, as they call it. Have you heard from Paul? On his way, according to Smuggler in New York. He will be fine. Meanwhile, we still face the likelihood of a triad war here in Hong Kong. Quick and Chen declared a truce just a few minutes ago. A good bit of diplomacy, I admit, but it won't hold. Not with the sword left to be fought over. I think they'll be slow to anger with Maggie Chow out of the picture. No. In their system, the sword is a doomsday weapon, a temptation. We must recover the ramen coating from VersaLife and make it available to both triads. So that's all you expect in the way of a favor? A little corporate espionage? The first of many favors. Remember, I saved your life. Now pay attention. The VersaLife elevator north of the market will require an employee number. Try 06288. Once inside, find Mr. Hundley, the shift supervisor. He can be persuaded to give you access to the labs. Hundley? You will find him receptive. He is the corrupt official who sold the Red Arrow the technology to begin with. I'll find the ramen coating, but I'm not your henchman. I'll help you as long as we have a mutual interest. If you choose to fight Majestic 12, you will need an ally. We will have a mutual interest for some time. In fact, I took the liberty of setting up a computer account for you. Login JC Denton. Password Sanctuary. Feel free to use the machine in my office. Alright, that's where we're heading next. And what do you know, you gave us another five digit code. Looks like what I said about five digit codes is complete bullshit. So there's an email here from Alex talking about, uh, well he's just gushing about Tracer Tong honestly, uh, required objectives from Daedalus. Uh, you must not fail, uh... Mm hmm So, we just need to... The Grey Death is a nanotechnologically engineered virus. You are immune, but others are not. You must locate the universal constructor used to create the Grey Death and destroy it. My information indicates that it is in Hong Kong, housed in an MJ-12 facility beneath the corporation known as Versalife. Well! That is a hell of a thing to talk about once we're done with this. And this is from Sam. Uh, and he is just telling us that Walton Simons has assumed authority of UNATCO and that Mandalay has disappeared. Well, I would imagine that Mandalay is now somewhere six feet under the ground since we uh, blew him away with an assault rifle but anyway Sam doesn't need to know that uh, the other email is more interesting to me the one about a universal constructor now what the hell is that well it's a it's a computer thing it's a it's a it's a uh, oh fuck I don't even know what to call it it's a machine it's a big machine that uh, produces nanotech Shit, right? And so you must have won great favor with the dragon. You can't create a uh, mass scale biological virus like the Great Death without the use of a universal constructor. Not in such high quantities as would be needed to spread across the entire world, which is essentially what they've done. Uh, so it's interesting now to learn that it's not actually a plague, but it's a uh, man-made sort of a. Uh, Virus, which is uh, very, very interesting. 06288, and that was an excellent memory. So, next time, we will be heading to VersaLife to maybe find out more about this Universal Constructor, but most importantly, to get the technology for this very awesome Dragon Tooth Sword. Alright, so, until next time, see you later. <laughs>